and here from a parallel world. Ryuki is supposed to be here? You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? Ryuki's memories may hold the answer. Mizuki, the time limit with Insomnium is six minutes. Damn it. Damn it. I was so close to finally forgetting. What's wrong? You're burning up. How do you do, Tama? A little annoyed, frankly. <laughs> it's fine. Dress me as you please. I will be your opponent. This white part? You can paint it whatever color you want. Earlier, Boss was working while wearing this. She's starting to lose it. This is the face I make when Ryuki blows his nose with a 10,000 yen note. This is how the four of them reacted when they found out Abyss is getting a finished sauna. This makes me feel like summer is coming to an end. Come, I will be your pump. This white part, you can paint it whatever. Earlier, this, this, this white part. Shark movies. It's a map. Yeah, looks good. Shark movies aren't really horror. They're basically their own genre. It's a mask that makes you want to run a death game for nine people. <sighs> yeah, looks good. Are you malfunctioning? You don't really have worries, do you? You're messing around, right? Are you... bored? Oh, really? So I guess that means you're busy? But you still came here. What's wrong with you? Get back to your station and do your job! Once you're done, come back so you can help me pass the time. I'll be waiting!
Um, who are you again? It's not Bikini. It's not Tsukini either. Oh, I remember. It's Mizuki. Ugh. Looks like he hasn't sobered up yet. I'm not leaving until you give me answers, so quit messing around. You probably weren't listening to me at Brahmin, so I'll say it again. No need. Tama told me earlier. Jin Furue's other half was found. But the body was alive until noon today. You want to know how? It's simple. Jin's left half flew here. It flew through time from the world six years ago. What are you talking about? Ryuki, I looked inside your mind. I know. You synced with me, didn't you? Who was that person? That person? The person who was reaching out to you at the end of the Somnium. Tell me, something happened six years ago that I don't know about. What was it? You really want to know? Yeah. You could be putting yourself in danger. I'm not afraid. Fine. Then I'll tell you. But I'm sure there's no need to explain what happened on February 10th, six years ago. Yeah, I was there, at the studio. Alright, then I'll start from the part you don't know about. The day after the incident. February 11th. What's up, Ryuki? Mr. Date! Did you know this doll can talk, Ryuki? He's my childhood friend. What? What are you talking about? It's me, Mario! Nice to meet you! He talks?! That RC goes pretty fast. Oh? How fast does it go? Three million kilometers per second. The universe would collapse if that were true. <sighs> I'd like to smack your butt with that broom. Why? When I see that ball, it reminds me of my boyfriend from high school. Yeah, you seem like the type who'd be into that. Reminds me of you, boss. Which part? I'm a sucker for anything shiny or black. What about cockroaches, boss? They're shiny and black. Okay, I'm reducing your salary. Oh.
I found out what that rug actually costs, by the way. Something like 500 million yen. That's true. I confiscated it from the thief. Are you allowed to do that? Ryuki, your heart rate is increasing. Don't tell me. You are imagining a woman's bathhouse, aren't you? Fantasizing about the shiny faucets? Why would that part be my fantasy? Uh, I haven't been on a board in a while. I wish I could go. I think you've fallen your ass plenty already. You want to hear some juicy gossip? I heard they got transferred to Lemniscade. Okay. Uh huh. Good for them. Hey, I'm your superior, you know. You should all at least pretend you're interested. I remember Mr. Date telling me, you like to hit that thing when you're feeling stressed out, right, boss? Oh, no, I wouldn't do something so foolish. I just throw it against the wall. That's even worse. I heard that's boss's grandfather. Don't fill his head with nonsense. That's not my grandfather. That's my grandfather's death mask. Not any less weird. How long are you going to keep that here? Until I get a new boyfriend. Then it's gonna stay there forever. Date, I'm assigning you to Venezuela. Good luck! What's wrong? You've been staring. Oh, it's nothing. to a host club in Kabukicho after the investigation, didn't you? Who would do such a thing? I mean, you usually do that. I went straight home last night. I can't be out drinking every night. My kid would never let me hear the end of it. I'm sorry, your kid? Yeah, my little girl. At least, I think she's a little girl. I didn't spot any dangly bits, so unless she says otherwise. I had no idea you had a daughter, boss. Neither did I. 
I didn't know either. Why'd you keep that a secret all this time? It wasn't a secret. No one asked. Yeah, the entire country's been talking about it all day. Not just Japan, but the whole world. A body sliced in half suddenly appeared in the middle of a broadcast? And then there was that weird QR code, too. I'd be surprised if it didn't go viral. But how strange. There was a blackout before the corpse appeared, right? So why didn't the stream get cut off? It hasn't even been half a day. No new info for you yet. Jin's left half hasn't been found yet either. Why did his right half burst into flames like that? We're still looking into it. But I was told they haven't recovered any mechanical or electrical pieces. So, it wasn't a time bomb. Do you think it could have been spontaneous combustion? Who knows? I thought you were on vacation. Yeah, new labor laws. I'm supposed to be on break. Then why are you here? Well, why not? I was bored, so I thought I'd come play darts. This is supposed to be a place of business. Could you not play around in here? What? This room is full of things to play with. Hmm? Is there something on my face? Well, um... Let me guess. Eye patch? <laughs> Looks cool, doesn't it? I'm wearing the patch because Iva ran away from home. That's not the whole story, though, is it, Dante? You tried to watch a VR video of bikini girls splitting watermelons at the beach. I can't do this anymore! I am done being your partner! So Iva leapt out of Dante's eye socket and ended up at my place. So she's at your house right now? No, she's working on a top-secret mission. What mission? If I told you, it wouldn't be top secret. I saw the news last night. I talked to Boss earlier too, so I know the gist of what's going on. A corpse suddenly appeared in the middle of a live stream, right? And for some reason, just the right half. Like it traveled through time and space. Advice? I only give advice when I'm drinking, shall we? It's not even noon yet. Who cares? I'm on vacation. Well, I'm not. Come on. My treat, as usual. No, I'll just handle this myself. What? Drink with me. Nice and soft. It feels kind of soothing, being here. Anything to promote office wellness. What are you talking about? Well then, you won't mind if I join you. I'm kidding. There's a real cozy bar in Omiya I know about, and I think you'll like it. All the bartenders are... <gasps> How did you know? And why Omiya of all- You don't know? Saitama is hot right now. It's warm at this time of year? That's not what I meant.
I see a stupid looking man's face. Like this. It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! Half for all, we are full-time heroes! Ryuki? You feeling okay? Maybe we should have a doctor take a look at you. Don't worry, I'm fine. You're trying to convince yourself, aren't you? Poor Ryuki, you're exhausted. Yeah, I'll try. You'll try? What the hell is that? Why don't you say it like you mean it, asshole? It's your duty to solve this case. This is why you're here, isn't it? I got it, Tama. You can close it. Tama, show me the news. That's not how you ask for a favor, is it? I beg of you, Lady Tama. Mm, how about this? I said news, not nudes. <laughs> Wanna see it again? No, thank you. What is it, Ryuki? The QR code on that sign was shown during the live stream, too. Yeah, quite clearly means it was seen by people around the world. They say the ViewCube video in the link got several million views. The account is already deleted, but you know how it is. People upload copies to other sites almost immediately. That means the actual number of people who saw it is several times greater. Anything strange happened since? What do you mean? Maybe a bunch of people being sent to the hospital after seeing the video or something. No, I haven't heard any reports like that so far. I see. Like I said, the uploader of the original video is unknown. Okay then. Tama and I will continue the investigation. Oh, wait. Before you go, there's one thing I want you to be careful about. Abyss is having issues with the communication network right now. Any data obtained by your AI ball can't be uploaded to the cloud. Yeah, I can't do any backups right now. I can only save data inside my body's storage. 
so we'll be in big trouble if you break. Yes, any data saved from today on will be lost. Understood. We'll be careful. So, where do you plan on going first? I thought we'd start by asking around for more info. I haven't been able to talk to the people who are at the scene much yet. Mizuki, Iris, Moma, Chenpei, and Andy's Komeiji, the host. Do you have their locations? Yes, I've obtained each of their locations through the GPS on their smartphones. First, Mizuki is at a place called Matsushita Diner. Ota's place. Iris seems to be on the campus of Sekiba High. Makes sense. She's a student there, after all. Moma and Chinpei are at the Kumakura office. Right. The Dragon and Lantern's place. And finally, Kameiji. He seems to be on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Misaton? That department store in Shinjuku? Do you want to ride along for the investigation, Mr. Date? <laughs> I'm not gonna work on my day off. I'm not that bored. Bored enough to come here. There are many types of boredom. This is different. Well, Ryuki, I'm counting on you. Right. Leave it to me. Thomas, you take care of Ryuki, okay? Always. This sucks. I heard I talked my jaw off yesterday. That was with the local detective, right? I haven't heard anything yet. Fix this. Perhaps you should help them? Big sis? Ah, that's just what I call Mizuki. Ah. And you're... My name is Kizuna. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department. Ryuki, right? You were on that quiz show last night. Wow. It's stuffed so tight. Why did you say it like that? 
Salt, pepper, spices, and... It says Ota's black sauce. Chef's choice salad. I guess it's up to luck. Look! It's a stool. See something you like, Ryuki? No. I'll sell you that poster for a thousand yen. No, thank you. Uh, what are you doing? Haven't you heard? If you meow at a lucky cat statue, happiness will come your way. I see. Mr. Ryuki, there's a video of Tessa playing Mulku. Want to watch? Maybe later. You want me to smack your butt, Ket, Ryuki? No. Kizzy, if you wanted to change the light bulbs or something, you can stack the cases there and stand on top of them. No, thank you. I have absolutely no desire to do so. Hey, Mizuki. Isn't that your chair? Hey, Ota! Does this place have fire insurance? Dates on the calendar. Why not go on a date with me? No thanks. Pardon me, but may I ask your name? It's all right now, because I am here! How are you, young boy? <clears throat> Guess he's not doing too good. Maybe you shouldn't talk to that guy. He seems pretty drunk. He's drinking non-alcoholic beer. What do you want? I was not aware you could get drunk from non-alcoholic beverages. Oh. 
Are you Mr. Otamatsushita? Oh, you heard of me? Did you talk to Date or something? Yeah, something like that. Ota is 24. One year older than you, Ryuki. Yeah, that's why I'm being polite. Nah. Ota handles the cooking, serving, and accounting all by himself. <laughs> that's right. Tama, are there any legal issues with this? Not at all. His mother, Mayumi Matsushita, holds the proper certification for food hygiene. Mr. Matsushita, can I ask where your mother is? Probably in the living room back there. I guess she's sitting at the Kotatsu watching TV or something. Th that came out of nowhere. Of course I have one. You met her yesterday, right? Tessa. A girl named Iris Sagan. Ota, do you want me to rip your tongue out? <laughs> oh, well, as long as we're on the subject. Are you going out with anyone, Kizzy? Oh, me? Such relations with gentlemen are completely foreign to me. Are you into baby-faced guys that know how to cook? Ugh, no shame. Oh, my type is so stereotypical that I am embarrassed to admit it. Someone like Prince Charming. A prince? I yearn to be a princess. I hope my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. That's my dream. Glass slipper? Ota? Who is that? Well, he's a customer. He comes by a lot. Um, well, in any case, I have a great affinity for shoes. My admiration of Princess Cinderella partially comes from that, I'm sure. Glass slippers. Isn't that so magical? How lovely it would be to dance in them. Wouldn't it be hard to dance in glass slippers? <laughs> that is true. Man, that was crazy! I said it before, but I was watching that stream live. I heard Tessa and Mizuki were gonna be on that show, right? Then that body appeared out of nowhere. Man, I couldn't believe what I saw. Speaking of crazy, that ViewCube video. You saw it. No, not the whole thing. Too scary. I saw the one before, though. The one before? You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. Ah, I know of that one as well. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? Yep. There was some kind of code hidden in it, too. According to the rumors, whoever deciphers it will learn the secret of the world. Secret of the world? Did a grade schooler come up with that or something? You're a grade schooler yourself, by the way. The video starts with a bunch of bats flying around. Guess that's where the bats part comes from. I don't know what the 490 means, though. Were you able to decode it? No way. I had no idea what it meant. Well, it's not like solving it would have been a big deal. I'll bet that Secret of the World stuff is bogus anyway. Don't ruin the fantasy, Mizuki. I'm just telling it like it is. It's just an ARG. It's a game for kids. ARG means alternate reality game. 
The Game Master releases mysterious information to the public via the internet, leaflets, posters, stuff like that. Players decode the information to discover a location or objective that moves the game forward. Simply put, an ARG is a fusion of games and real life. Today is February 11th, National Foundation Day. Oh yeah, it is. So, why are you here? Why else? To eat some of Ota's cooking. I brought my friend Kizzy with me. And I appreciate your business. I am indeed. How did you know? Your uniform? Don't tell me you're a uniform buffer, Yuki. I didn't take you for a pervert. <sighs> Kizzy is good friends with Iris and Mame, too. Oh, you don't know about Mame, do you? A Mame doys her full name. She attends Sekiba High like Kizzy and Iris. Iris and Mame belong to the same dance club as I. It was through them that I was introduced to Big Sis. Yes, I most certainly do. However, I am not very good at it. That's not true. You've even won a dancing competition before. That was nothing more than a fluke. Iris is a far better dancer. Hmm. This is a bit difficult to explain. I just sensed a certain elegance to Mizuki that was characteristic of an older sister. It... is that a compliment? Tama, how old is Kizuna? 18, same as Iris. They're in their third year, so they're graduating soon. In other words, Mizuki is a whole six years younger than Kizuna. I was watching that quiz show live as well. Then, goodness, I couldn't believe it. That corpse suddenly appeared on the screen. I couldn't sleep last night from the shock of it all. I was worried about Big Sis and Iris as well. Yeah, you called me a bunch, I remember. You witnessed the corpse with your own eyes, did you not? Are you certain you're... okay? I'm totally fine. Your mental fortitude is admirable. I've been through a lot is all. Huh. And? I mean, Mr. Date is like your foster father. So, I thought I'd let you know just in case. Foster father? I'm the one taking care of him. I'm paying the rent, and utility bills too! Oh... Oh, I know of Mr. Date as well. He is quite close with Iris. So I have the honor of being on friendly terms with him as well. Iris had an offer to appear on the show. So she was asked to bring another talent from Lemnus Gate, but... No one could make it, so I decided to go instead. As the president of Lemnus Gate, I couldn't just turn it down. President? Aren't you 12? 
it's a long story. I ended up taking over the company after Daddy. Sorry, but I don't know anything. I just went on the show like Iris asked, and then a body showed up out of nowhere. I've heard about Jin Furue, but it's not like I knew him personally. Sorry, I can't really help. Hey, Kizzy, I want to see you dance! Where did this come from? I want to see too! Don't you want to see too, Ryuki? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I've got to see this. Then I'll play some music. Just a sec. Wait, um, I have not agreed to anything yet. I know your name. You're Kizuna, aren't you? I heard you introducing yourself earlier. My name's Lian, Lian Twining, and I'm 22 years old. My father's American and my mother's Japanese. So, Kizuna, I want you to marry me. Worried about health? Ah, worried about work? Yes. Worried about school? Yes. Worried about money? Yes. Worried about relationships? Ah, you don't really have worries, do you? Huh? Are you... Oh, uh... It's that thing, Tama. Uh, what is it again? How am I supposed to know? The only thing I know is yours.